Good morning. Good morning. Good. She smells like cornflakes. Why? Why? I've been using this new product and I don't know if it works but it has one of these lids. It's like the only reason I've been using it. Oh. I'm gonna start getting facials I think. I told my friend I was gonna get two a month and then she was like no don't do it. Regular facials are a scam it's marketing. Um, which made a lot of sense the second I heard it and she was like you need to get this type of facial. I don't remember what it's called but I'll look at it for you guys because she texted it to me. I think it has downtime. That's the only thing. I this is bee venom. Apparently. My skin has been so dry lately. Like, I just don't look good. Like, I just haven't looked nice in ages. I don't know why. I don't really, haven't been wearing a lot of makeup lately. So I haven't been going anywhere. But I've been doing my eyebrows as if they're skincare. Because if they look bad, I am in a bad mood. They just need to not be pointing downwards. You know what I mean? I don't know what I want to have for breakfast. Just one. Just the one. The first time I smelled this, I was like, what the fuck? To me, it smelled like, like nausea. Caramel things always smell like nausea to me. But then, I don't know, it just grew on me. And now I spray it every single day. I don't know what I want to eat this morning. I think oats. This is the hardest thing about not being in London. Now that I'm like, I'm like used to all the things that you can just get in London. I never cook for myself. It's really bad. I actually can't talk about it too much because I'm embarrassed. But I haven't cooked a single meal. <laughs> Okay, what else did I want to do? I want to try on these new trousers that I bought. I got them from Skims. And I think they're going to go get coffee. I need to put my acne cream on, but I should have done it before. Oh, this is what I was going to show you guys. Um, This acne cream, wait, what's it called? Azeliac acid. There we go. Anyway, I'm starting to break out again here. Like, you know when you can feel the bumps and they're like painful and you just know there's more to come. I don't know if I should put that on top of the bee venom. Anyways. Anyways, let's go. Oh, your breath, yes. Oh. We're gonna go out, we're gonna go get coffee. I have to reverse now. Everyone be quiet. Who always thought 50 was middle age? Turns out it's not. Turns out middle age is like, I don't know. Holy fuck, is 35 middle age? Oh my god, wait, if the average life expectancy is like 73, which the last time I googled that it, it was. I thought 50 to 60 was middle aged. I just always assumed that I was gonna live to a solid 100. Hi, could I get an iced caramel latte, please? Anything else? Oh, no, that's it. Bye-bye. Thank you. Okay, time to try, time to try the coffee. I give it like a six out of 10, maybe a five. I don't know, I like it. It's a, it's a little bit, disgusting it's i don't mind it like i don't i'm not like passionate but i'm also not like full of hatred or resentment you know let's walk and talk so i was talking to my friend right before the new year and basically i said to her that i hate that i'm in my 20s a time of life that i've always looked forward to and i'm living the most amazing life and i'm going from place to place and i'm doing all these amazing things and I'm doing them miserably. And I don't know what it was about what I said that struck a chord in my friend, shall we say. And I was just gonna say that. I was gonna say that sentence and then continue living my life that way. Cause I was like, yeah, no, it's bothering me. Like actually it's driving me insane. Like I actually, I genuinely feel like I wanna bash my head against a wall. I'm so frustrated and I'm so unhappy and I'm so in so much like, turmoil within my fucking soul that is so deep within me that I don't even know how to get it out and therapy doesn't work I was just gonna let that slide I was just gonna be like yeah that's just it's just the way it is I guess but it bothered my friend and so she was like we're not fucking doing this because she was the same way thank god that that sentence struck a chord with my friend I think we both kind of like started talking about it more and we realized this is not on and what the fuck are we doing? Like I need to get to the, the root of the issue. Why do I create a life for myself that is painful? I think deep down, I think I deserve pain. Anybody else? Any else feel like that? I'm going to LA and New York in a few weeks. And Loki, like I obviously I really wanna go, like I'm so excited to go. 
But I don't want to go because I just got a new car and I want to play with it. They're taking me away from my new toy. What the fuck? But I think I'm going to rent a car. Definitely in LA because I think it's actually cheaper to rent a car than to get Ubers because nothing is near anything in LA. But somehow everything is 20 minutes away. I don't get it. I don't think. Really... Oh! Someone needs to fill these fucking potholes in. If Buckingham Palace gets one more makeover before they fill these potholes in, I am going to literally raid that palace by myself. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Guys, I've watched fucking Saltburn. What the actual fuck was that? Now, I'm, I'm no spoilers. Don't worry if you've not seen it. I'm not saying anything really upsetting like a genuinely i i expected sexual deviance to be what upset me but it wasn't that <laughs> what the fuck was that it, you know what guilty pleasure i actually find the grave scene kind of sexy can i say that I, yeah the idea of it's disgusting no you know what i'm gonna take that back i did not find that sexy it's disgusting it's it's disrespectful Okay, what I'm doing now is one of my favorite activities. I'm driving through the rich neighborhood. You know what's crazy? I believe that Led Zeppelin used to live here or his wife or his ex-wife. It was that house or no, it was one of these houses. Anyway, one of my mom's friends was friends with his wife or ex-wife, can't remember. And they had a sauna and we used to get to go in it. But in Europe, if you're not from Europe, like a general rule here is you don't wear anything in a sauna because it's unhygienic. I think that's why. I don't know. Everyone just goes in naked, but I don't think that's the way it is in the US. I've always been extremely self-conscious with my body from a young age. So um, everyone would be naked and I would be in a fleece, zipped up, socks on, pants on, trousers on, just stood in the corner. And my mum would get so fucking pissed with me and I'd be sweating my fucking ass off. But I also had attachment issues, so I couldn't like wait outside the sauna or like wait in the house like a normal person. Because the sauna was like also far out the fuck away from the house. So I would stand in there with them because I didn't want to be away from my mummy. But I was not taking a layer of clothing off. It was so fun. This is a good way to manifest. Seeing things. Seeing is believing, bitches. I always, my apartment building, there's like an underground car park and I like to walk through it. Like you don't have to walk through it to get to my apartment, but you can. There's like a way that you can go underground. And I like to walk through it because everybody has nice cars and it makes me like excited for like things that I could possibly have one day. You know what I mean? Like it's motivating. I've realized I never sit back when I drive. Whoa. I always sit like this. I'm always stressed out. Why don't I just relax and have a good time? You know what I mean? Now I'm like rushed getting ready to go out. It's my dad's birthday and we're getting dinner with him. I don't think I've ever seen my dad on his birthday before. So this is cute and fun. How late are we? Um, uh, oh, we're currently two minutes early. Two minutes early? Are you meant to put a shadow under your chin? I never know if that's attractive or unattractive. If your chin's darker, then it separates it from your face. Oh, really? Could be wrong. I'm sure you could look stupid. I'm saying if you've done it at all while I've been here, I don't know if you're looking stupid. Oh, thanks. Look dapper, babes. Pardon? You look dapper, I said. Thanks. Yeah. You're welcome. Ugh, I keep my fucking eyebrow gel in my car because I like to do it throughout the day, which means I don't have any eyebrow gel. Well, um, I have to put it in your hair. Maybe. You just like dip the tip in it and then like shove it in and out of the pot a few times so that it spreads it around. It's plenty. That's yes. peas, she left it, now I'm gonna have it. Ha <laughs> ha Having a quick pre-dinner snack because I forgot to eat all day and then suddenly I felt like I was genuinely gonna die, so. And this, look at that. Because it's only five o'clock, we're still perfectly on time. Oh, we're we... not late. No, we left, I made us leave really early so we would be on time. <laughs> and we're gonna be on time. You're welcome. You're such a mum. I know. Tomorrow is the day me and Katie go to the Nutcracker. At the age of 18, I was a ballet dancer. I can't believe you gave up dance. I was always quite jealous of what I can't dance. I can't do anything. She can't dance. We love her, but she can't dance. She can sing though, very occasionally. That will That's pop out. That's true. Yeah. I think I've heard it about twice in my entire life. Do you have a nice voice? What, are you actually being serious? I'm being serious. I've heard no you way. sing about twice in your life. What, and you think it sounds nice? I think you have a lovely singing I thought you were voice. talking about this one. <laughs> I was like, no way. <laughs> what, you actually no. sing? I think you have a really nice voice, yeah. Get a load of that. Not honestly. So can you not, you can't sing. I mean, I think you have a nice voice. But like, I can for the purposes of right now. No, I reckon I can sing. I know I can. 
I mean, everyone that can just sing. might be controversial. Yeah. Mm, yummy. <laughs> She's bleeding. Put me with the full cap away. Mm, yummy. <laughs> We've finished dinner. We've come home. Should we tell them what Dad did that's so cute? So, our, our dad had this car when we were like, I don't know, oh. we were like six and seven. And one day me and Jess got like a bag and shoved it in the little, you know when seats have like an armrest and you can push them up? We shoved this bag behind an armrest and it stayed there forever until he got forever. a new car. And he only got a new car like the last year. And I've never been in it before. And then he was driving us to dinner and he was like, lick in the armrest. And I thought he was trying to show off his cup holder. So I was like, oh, very cool. He was like, no, look in the armrest. And he'd put the bag in his new car. He scrunched it up. Oh, in the same place, but in the new car. That is so it cute. Was so precious. So cute. Because oh every time he used to pick us up for his weekend as kids, I'd like check the armrest to see yeah, if the bag was like, still, ah, there. Ah, <laughs> still there. And he's put it in his new car. Anyway, we're gonna watch the One Percent Club, and then we're gonna go to bed. You Jessica. hang up. I need to show you something. Hang up. Yeah. I have to hang up You're on like, you guys now. Good luck, Charlie. <laughs> oh my god. Put it away! I'd like to talk so, anyway, to you. good luck, Charlie.